Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a lesson uh, going into who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his true name. Being Yahawashai, which means he delivers. Yah means he. Hawashai means deliverer. Is only <laughs> going to benefit the Israelites upon his return. Okay, starting with the elect. Okay. He's not going to benefit anyone else. Everyone else, it's going to be a, a terrible day for you. Upon the return of our Lord, Yahawashai. And we hope to be part of that precious number. You know, this is why, you know, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to us like-minded men, we say hopeful elect. Because we hope to be part of that precious few. Okay, that are going to be delivered even through death. Okay, in these latter days, upon the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, and the and the erecting of the nation of Israel. Okay, but the point I want to make in this lesson is Yahweh Shai, his, his birth, <laughs> his birth, his existence was only to benefit Israel. Okay? No one else, no other nation. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to prove that. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get into a little bit of history. And um, I wanted to get into an account as well. Uh, giving credence uh, to Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, only benefiting uh, Israel, man, starting with the elect. You know, so through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get into uh, was Isaiah, the ninth chapter, all right, starting at the sixth verse. And it reads, Unto us, Salakia, for unto us a child is born. Unto who? The nation of Israel, man, a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and speckled birds that may look like the other nations, okay, because of the scattering that took place, which is uh, part of the curse, about uh, pursuing to Deuteronomy 28 and 64, okay? There are going to be Israelites that look like uh, the other nations, man. You know, this is a reality, you know, that, you know, that those of us you know, in this truth that have the 144% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, our elders and apostles from Great Millstone on down to us like minded men, you know, we understand that. You know, we and this is not a, a, a color thing. You know, this is, it's all through the spirit. You know, now don't get it twisted. You know, they, they are Israelites via bloodline, you know, but their spirit's going to bear witness. To the spirit, you know, that that's the case. You know, they're going to be able to receive this glorious gospel and its true veracity. You know, there's going to be men on the front line, you know, pushing this word that look like a, a Moabite or an Edomite or a Hamite or, or, you know. And that's just the reality of it because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with any other nation but Israel. Okay, pursuing um, to Psalms. Uh, what's that one? Let's just grab it real quick. Uh, Psalms, what's that? 148. Salakia, 147. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 9. I'll start at verse 19. It reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob. Okay, Jacob is who? The progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. See? His statutes 
in his judgment unto Israel. See, so point blank period. If, if you're not, if you're not an Israelite, you're not going to be able to receive this word. Okay, he's only going to show his word to Jacob to Israel. Okay, he have not dealt so. Verse twenty. He have not dealt so with any nation. See, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. But we're coming into the time where you heathen nations are going to know the Lord's judgments. You're going to know the Lord as we know the Lord pursuing to, uh, what's that, Sirach 36. You see, and through his judgments, you're going to know him. Okay? When that judgment's executed upon you. But back to the point. The book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. And it reads, For unto us a child is born. That child is who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? Unto us a son is given, and the government, okay, shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, okay? And that's the spirit because Solomon's name means peace, okay, giving credence that uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, was Solomon. But that can easily be proven through the scriptures. It's all throughout the scriptures. It's even going to go into it here, right? Let's, they just went into it there, if you can see it through the spirit. But uh, we continue reading, right? Of the increase of his government, Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end, right? Perpetual kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is going to be perpetual, never ending, everlasting. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. See, so this thing's going to be a perpetual thing, the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be no more death for the Israelites. Say we're going to be immortal. We're going to live forever. It's going to be it's going to be for eternity. Right. The zeal of the Lord of hosts. Right. The Lord of armies will perform this. So through the spirit and power, you see, of Yahweh, this is going to be executed. See, that Lord is in caps. OK, that's Yahweh. You see who he gave all power and authority to Yahweh Shai. You see? And to, and to prove that this is this son here is Yahweh Shai. Let's go to um uh, what's that? The book of Luke. The first chapter. Okay? When Mary was visited by that angel. What did the angel say? Let's get it. Let's start at verse uh, 31 and it reads, And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's continue on. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest, right? The only begotten son. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Giving more credence that Yahweh Shai was Solomon. <laughs> you see? And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. See? And he's, who's he going to reign over? The house of Jacob. You see? Once again, Jacob being who? The progenitor of the Israelites. Remember, um, uh, Jacob is the is, is is the father of the twelve sons. You see. Remember, his name was changed to Israel. Right. Continuing on. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob. Forever. And of his kingdom. There shall be. No end. 
perpetual, everlasting. <laughs> you see? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the elect, is who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is dealing with. Okay? Those that, that's why when you read Isaiah 59, and uh, what's that, 20, what's it say? It says the Redeemer is going to come to where? Let's go get that real quick. Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 59, in verse 20, and it reads, And the Redeemer, which is who? Yahweh Shai, shall come to Zion. Okay, which Zion in the Lashawan Kodash is to Zion. Which goes into what? Monument or memorial. Okay? And unto them that turn from transgression and Jacob. See, this is all about, it's all about the nation of Israel. You see? Saith the Lord. It's all about Israel. It's all about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Only the Israelites can repent. Only the Israelites are going to be redeemed, starting with the elect, because the two-thirds on this side are not going to make it. Let's go to Acts, because they're, they're counted as heathen on this side, because they refuse to return. Okay? They trust in oppression. Okay? They, they're, they're all Americans. <laughs> you see? Or wherever else they're scattered. They're all about that government they're under, where they're being persecuted. See, they trust in that government they're under, wherever they may be. You see? But mainly here in America, because um, the greatest deliverance is going to come out of the land of the north, as we know. You see? The northern and southern kingdom, uh, 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 scripture says they were oppressed together. The biggest gathering of the Israelites is right here in the land of the north. You see, in the majority of our people, all right, in this place, they want to hold on to their oppressor. They don't want to turn back, right? So they're counting as heathen. But the point I'm making here is only Israel can repent. Let's get this in Acts 5. I'm going to start at verse 30 and it reads, The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. You see? Whom ye slew and hanged on the tree, right? Because uh, Jake at the time... <laughs> Wicked Jake, right? The, the wicked, what, um, uh, scribes, right? And Sadducees, right? What did they do? They gave up uh, Yahweh Shai to the Romans. These wicked niggas. Okay? Romans were what? The Edomites. Yeah, they gave him up to them, man. Huh? They gave him up to them. It was an Edomite that passed Yahweh Shai. Hey, and that devil's back on the scene today. Pursuing to Revelations, uh, what's that, 1 and 7? Upon the return of Yahweh Shai, the same individual that pierced Yahweh Shai is going to be on the scene. He's here today. I speak as a man, but I think he's here today. Hey, because Yahweh Shai is riding around the corner to come get to come get his elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Right, let's, re let's read this again from the top. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 30, and it reads, the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. You see? And this is um this is uh Peter. This is Peter speaking, right? Continuing on. Him had Yahweh Bashim Salakia. Him had the most high exalted with his right hand. Okay? Yahweh Shai is Yahweh's mighty right hand. Okay, he's going to come execute the justice and judgment upon this planet Earth in, in, in the coming days, man. Okay, but continuing on. Him had the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. You see? And forgiveness of sins. You see, it's all about Israel. Yahweh Shai is only coming 
for the Israelites. Okay? Once again, starting with the elect. Okay? Because two-thirds, again, they're not going to return. They're not going to return. As a matter of fact, I want to go to Acts, the second chapter. Right? And I want to bring up an account with Peter once again speaking. Now, this is uh, Salakia. This is uh, during the Pentecost, right? When uh, Jews came through, you know, out of every nation under heaven, as it says in uh, verse 5, right? And what did Peter say in verse, uh, bear with me, 21, right? It reads, and, and it shall come to pass, the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21, and it reads, and it shall come to pass, okay, which is prophecy, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you have a Christian read this, and they'll say, see, salvation is for everybody. No, continue reading. Ye men of Israel. See? Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. <laughs> Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, okay? And wonders and signs and miracles are being done today. Hey, us being able to receive this truth, us being able to break down these scriptures, us returning back to the obedience of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and knowing his name, us returning back to the to the Lashawan Kwadash, Okay, the the the, <laughs> the 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 language that was being spoken in Canaan, right? Hey, this is a miracle. Prophecies being fulfilled on all levels. Okay, the, the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Shai said that he was gonna send the Holy Spirit and he did so. See? Because it's resting upon uh, a certain men. You know, hey, and women in these latter days, man. Okay, those of the hopeful elect. Because with all the snares in this world, in this life, you know, the, the vibration of wickedness that's being pumped out in society, right, all this witchcraft, it's a miracle for us to have returned back to obedience and, and structure. You see, and, and we seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know? This is, this is of the Holy Spirit. This is not of us. This is not of our strength. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is You know, I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that wholeheartedly. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is You know, because we were all in the world. We were all through. We were subscribing to all, all forms of folly. You know? And now we're being purified and made white, being prepped, okay, for the wedding, man. <laughs> you see, we're being prepared to be the living, man. Hey, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. You know, we just got to stay locked in. Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai allows us to stay amongst him, you know, to continue to dwell in his courts. Right? Now, let's go here. See, it's all about Israel is the point I'm making. Let's go to Matthew. Um, the 10th chapter. What did Yahweh Shai say to his disciples when he sent them out? Um, bear with me. Oh. All right, I'm going to start at verse, I'll start at verse 5. Right, the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5 and it reads, These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, 
and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, why did he say go not uh, <laughs> into the city of Samaria in Samaria? Because at that time it was flooded by heathen. Now, mind you, Samaria um, belonged to uh, the northern kingdom, man. You see? Uh, the, what is it? Uh, Shalmaneser, the Assyrian king. You know, he took down uh, Hosea. Right? Actually, let's get that account real quick. What's that? Second Kings, the 17th chapter. Bear with me. Let me turn this Wi-Fi off. There it goes. All right, now let's um. Yeah, let me go straight to the point. Actually, matter of fact, yeah, I'll go straight to the point. Salakia. All right, yeah, I'll go straight to the point. This is uh, the book of uh, 2 Kings chapter 17. And I'll start at verse 22 and it reads, For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. Jeroboam was the first king of the northern kingdom. And he was wicked as all hell. They departed not from them. Now, mind you, all the kings of uh, the northern kingdom were wicked. There wasn't one uh, righteous uh, king in the northern kingdom. You see, all of them were wicked. Let's continue on. Until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land, see, which was in Samaria, to Assyria, Unto this day. And the king of Assyria. Brought men. From where? Babylon. And from Cutha. And from Ava. And from Hamath. And from uh, Sepharvim. And placed them in the cities of Samaria. Instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria. And dwelt in the cities thereof. See? So heathen were in the land. At the time. Of Yahweh Shai sending out uh, <laughs> his apostles, man. You see? This is why he said, enter not into the city of the Samaritans, man. Or the way of the Gentiles. You see? But there was going to come a time um, where uh, Jake was actually going to uh, scatter back into Samaria. Okay? After uh, uh, Stephen, you know, some of us call him Stephen, Stephen, when he was... Uh, you know, put to death and he was stoned to death. And after he cussed out them wicked niggas, you know, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pretty much, you know, persecution came. Matter of fact, let me get that. I believe that's in, um, that's in Acts, the eighth chapter. Con, Acts eight and one, right? And Saul was consenting. Unto his death. Now Saul uh, is Apostle Paul. Remember his name was changed. From Saul to Apostle Paul. Or to Paul. Right. Continuing on. And now remember uh, Paul was there. <laughs> you see. Paul was on the scene. When Stephen got put to death. He let it happen. For the most part. Because he was an officer I believe. Right. Continuing on. And at that time. There was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem um kind which was at Jerusalem and they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria see except the apostles you see so there was a scatter back into Samaria you understand that's why when you go to Acts the first chapter right before Yahweh Shai departed from his from his from his disciples, right? What did he say? Let's go to the first. Let's go to uh, Acts one. Uh, 
Um, and I'm going to go straight to the point, right? The book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. And this is before Yahweh Shai departed, right? From his men, right? This is, this is what he said. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit it uh, is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, right? And unto the uttermost part of the earth. You see that? <laughs> Which Babylon the Great, that's the other parts of the earth, man. Hey, and we're still scattered, man. So this is playing out right now. You see? This is playing out. This is literally playing out right now. This is heavy. There, Yahweh Shai did not forget about his people. He's coming back for his elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Uh, we qualify to hope. You know, we've received this truth. You know, we've been changed. You know, we've been, we've, we've been reproved. You know, we qualify to hope. We've been called. It's without a doubt we've been called. You know, we hope that we've been chosen. You know, Lord willing, we have been chosen. You know, Lord willing, we can endure until the end. You see? And it's without a doubt that we've been called. You know? Yahweh Shai is only coming for his people. No other nations are part of this, man. Okay, once again, there's going to be speckled birds that look like the other nations, but they're not heathen. Okay, if you can't understand that, I don't know what to say to you. Let me get this account right here to just, just put, more, put more proof on it. Right? Uh, the book of Matthew. Now you'll get Christians that bring this up, but they don't understand the scriptures. But we're going to get understanding on it now, right? This account with Yahweh Shai, right? When um, he came across the uh, that Canaanite woman, right? Um, I'll start at verse 21. And it reads, Then Yahweh Shai went, uh, went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Why did she say that? That's the spirit, because she was an Israelite. That's why she said that. And we're going to further prove that, right? Mm -hmm. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Right? So her daughter was, you know, Sick, man. Through. Had spirits on her. Right? But he answered her not a word. Right? He didn't answer her a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, This is what Yahweh Shai said. It's in red letter. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of of where? Israel. Okay? The lost sheep are the elect. This is who Yahweh Shai is coming back for. See? Because, hey, we were lost sheep, man. We were in the lost in the world. We came across this marvelous light. Hey, and, and we were, we've been quickened, which means what? Made alive. We've been animated. We were lost and now we're found. Hey, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. This is all Yahweh Shai is coming back for. Only. Okay? This is it. No one else. You know, and this is plain. Right, let's continue on, right? Proving that this Canaanite woman was an Israelite. Right? Then came she, and that's why he said that. Because they, his, mind you, let's go back. His, what did his disciples say? Let's go back to verse 23. But he answered her, not a word, right? How wish I didn't say nothing, right? And his disciples came and besought him, right? 
which um in, in saying right send her away they they act <laughs> his disciples said send her away right for she cried after us right then Yahweh Shai said this but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Meaning what? I'm not going to send her away. She's, she's one of the lost sheep. She's out here in the land of Canaan. Through. You know? <laughs> this, this, is, this is why I was sent. I'm sent to, 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 uh, to heal the brokenhearted, the poor, like her. She, she's an Israelite. Obviously. Right? Continuing on. Then came she and worshipped him. See, she worshipped him. Saying, Lord, help me. Remember, the name of the Lord is um, dreadful among the heathen, man. See? She's worshiping him, man. She's worshiping the sun. Which scripture says, what scripture say? Kiss the sun, meaning reverence the sun. She was reverencing the sun. She was reverencing Yahweh Shai. The son of the most high. The only begotten. You see? She was moving. She was moving in the, in the fashion of an elect woman. She came in order. Let's continue on. But he answered and said. It is not meet to take the children's bread. And cast it to dogs. And she said. Truth Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs. Which fall from their master's table. Meaning what? She was loyal. A dog is very loyal. A dog is full of faith. When it comes to his master. A dog will wait at the door. For his owner to come back home. After an 8 hour, 9 hour, 10 hour, 12 hour, 15 hour shift. You see? <laughs> Let's continue on, right? Then Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, see? Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour he healed her daughter. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, let's go, let's go back to... Uh, Verse 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is why he healed her daughter. They were Israelites in the land of Canaan. Okay. <laughs> That's plain. Yahweh Shai is only coming back for Israelites. Starting with the elect, the elect only. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. You see? And right now, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, we're being gathered by the word of the Lord. You see? And those of the elect are being changed and being quickened and being purified and made white from the inside out. You see? Being prepared for that deliverance. Okay, being prepared for the days of tribulation. Being prepared for persecution. Right? And this is what's going on. This word is what's the, the word of the Lord. Okay? It's what's doing this. It's what's making this happen. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, this word. You see? And we've received it through the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let me close out here. Uh, the book of Baruch. Chapter 4. And I'll start at verse 36. And it reads, O Jerusalem, and remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Look about thee toward the east, right? Towards the temple. And behold the joy that cometh unto thee. From Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? And that joy that's going to come unto us is salvation, Lord willing. Right? We're part of that precious number. We be part of that first resurrection. Lord willing, Abba Rathaza. Right? Verse 37. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. 
See? Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai didn't send away all the nations, man. He sent away the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Via the curses. Because of our disobedience, because we sinned against the Lord. No other nation uh, he sent away. He's not dealing with none of them. We read that in Psalms 147. You see? He has not dealt so with any other nation. Let's continue on. Lo, thy sons come. Whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west. You see, all, all the way across the earth, all through the earth, man. How, Lord? By the word of the Holy One. You see, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see? You know, so salvation's coming soon, you know. It's right around the corner. We see how the earth's playing out, you know, with these, uh, you know, small hats, you know, pushing their rhetoric, you know, these prophecies uh, jumping off the pages. You know, there's only three more we're waiting on, <laughs> you know, Jacob's trouble, the karagma and the missiles. And we going home, Jack. You see? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man cannot stop the spirit. This is all through the spirit, what's happening right now. You see? All these lessons going out every day, all day, starting with the elders and apostles of the great millstone on down towards like-minded men. That's the spirit. That's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's a heavy spirit on the men of the Lord, man, in these latter days. You see? Our salvation draweth nigh. You know, Lord willing, we can stay locked in and endure until the end. Lord willing. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwathiam were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kwadash. Shalawam.